actually I was one of the first few employees who started working for the company even before the formation of the company. I joined the MG when we were operating from a hotel and I joined a, a time where even MG was not owning this plant. I was the only person who was wearing the blue uniform of GM on 21st of September 2017 and then 22nd I was uh, doing the puja ceremony for MG Motors. This plant is almost 35 years. So many, many the layout is not available, drawing not available, utility not available. We don't know underground what will happen. So where is piping, where is caper, we don't know. As far as the facility is concerned, all facilities were very old. Like if you say building, 35 years old building. A lot of issues of maintenance, a lot of leakage issue, even some of the structural stability issues were there. That was a big challenge to manage all these issues what the GM were having before and uh, making a very new plant with uh, all uh, things completed within a limited time frame. September is when we took hold of the plant. Actual work started on ground in November time frame. What we are seeing like a press shop line or the new supplier park, PDC, all those things were like a jungle. So there were total grass, bushes, everything. When we entered this plant, this was a complete barren land. Life is something which was missing in the plant. When we took over, we got life into this plant with all the employees out over here. There were two tasks. One is the refurbishment of the old facility and other was making a new building all together as a supplier park. Actually, the time frame was uh, 17 months, but uh, we have been given target to complete it within 15 months. How did we do that? I would probably say there was a like uh, meticulous planning that went behind all of these activities and what we call DWM, daily work management. So daily monitoring of scheduling, making sure that the plan is executed as per the time every day. So it's a greenification the good road. We will already repair every road and the utility also. The equipment like a prize, body and the GA, all equipment is new. So on the paint shop, so we, we, we do some modification job, it's not all new. For the first time out here, we have employed multiple number of AGVs, automatic guided vehicles, for our material movement. And the numbers are huge and that we have not limited to just assembly shop, which is the normal case in the industry. We have taken it to body shop and now we are also trying to get it something in the paint shop. In every auto OEM, there is a pool, so pool pod system. In our case, we have actually taken a concept from our parent company and we have provided tablets on the line. So it's just a simple tablet like what we see in the Samsung's or the iPads type. We just use that tablet and call any help what we need in the real-time basis, whether maintenance, whether material. So that has helped a lot in terms of technological innovation. We have done away with many of the hardware wire. There are certain automations in the windshield glass gillian machines, in the end of line uh, equipment testing. We have captive vendor park out here, which we call supplier park. In fact, some of our strategic suppliers from homeroom have come up and set up their own factories out here. They have hired the local employees from the uh, local uh, market, I mean the Indian industries, and they have set up with their homeroom experts. For the cost-wise and time-wise, it would be uh, it can save much more cost and the time when, and also we can receive an, the uh, quick response if in case of any issues happen in our, uh, on our production line. Oh, I think the first challenge is uh, language because my English is, seems not so good. My second thing is about the culture. 
because something we, did, uh, we, are, we were doing in China, we think it's okay, but uh, and here it's not okay. The first meeting with the, one of my Chinese colleagues, they came from China, and we had a very hard time in communication. We were not understanding what they're trying to say, and they're also not understanding what we're trying to say. We used to sometimes fight to put our own points, rather than having a joint discussion. We were talking about the same thing, but in different way. So people didn't understand each other. It is, I may say, it would be a costly communication. As necessity is the mother of invention, we started inventing how to communicate, communicate, communicate. Now everybody has, uh, you know, we take Google help, we, uh, translator help. Now people are understanding science language, some people have started understanding English. Some of us have started understanding some keywords of Chinese. The coordination between the uh, Indian uh, people and Chinese people is going on very good right now. It is going on seamless because we are trying and they are also willing to do it. So it's a mutual understanding which we are having and we are working on it. What excites me most is the growth of the team. It is um, Chinese and Indian merged team, different cultures, different teams from different com previous companies. People coming from different parts of the country, people coming from different organizations, different educational backgrounds. Uh, we've got diversity in terms of nations as well, people coming from across the border. So that's what diversity as a whole we look at, building the right culture for the organization. With all the diversity coming around, we had people from Tata, we had people from GM, we had people from Honda, Hyundai, name the OEM. We had people from non-auto companies. All this put together, we, want, we took the best things out of them and set up our own culture known as MG culture. It is a transparent culture where you can just you know, reach out to whoever you want to on a regular basis. There is no barrier. It uh, initiates from diversity. I was working in an earlier organization where I was the only lady in paint shop. Here I am having a lot of people, a lot of female employees who are working in the whole plant, not only paint shop. So diversity front is like bang on. It is a very welcoming company. When I think back at the day one of joining, we were a handful of employees. And today if I look at the plant, we are 800 plus employees. That is something which gives a real proud feeling to me. One good thing that has happened in all of this is, we now have developed kind of a cross-functional teamwork approach. So any issue that comes, the entire team comes together, irrespective of function. There is nothing called purchase or manufacturing or engineering or so on and so forth. It's everybody coming together to resolve that issue. So that gives a lot of, uh, you know, lot of confidence to the management, to the senior leadership that this team entire with home room and with MG, I can do much more things. I remember when I used to visit suppliers and they used to think, they used to ask, hey, what is MG? First tell us about MG, then we'll talk about the business. And look at today, today people are approaching the businessmen, the suppliers are approaching by themselves and they want to work with MG. They want to be part of MG supplier base. I work very hard for this project. So when I see this car produced in my plant, it seems it's my baby. If I see the car and I see the, the parts, I feel almost that this is the art, you know, art. So I mean, very, very happiness, I think. So I see a very, very strong uh, future expansion coming up out here. Two years back, maybe we had teams from different country, different company, different, with different backgrounds. When we launched the Hector, we become one team, which I call the MGI team.